Hey y'all, I'm Hannah. And I'm Jeremy. And we are The Savory Suitcase. And today we're making low-carb lasagna. Sometimes you just get a craving for something that you can't get out of your head. And this week, that was lasagna for me. We're gonna start by making the noodle replacement. And in a bowl, you're gonna crack four eggs. and then naturally struggle to get eight ounces of cream cheese out of the package. Add a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. And then you'll add a whole bunch of mozzarella cheese. It's actually two and a half cups. The recipe is in the description for you guys. Add a half a teaspoon each of Italian seasoning, garlic powder, and onion powders. There's no way that's only a half a teaspoon. Well, I'm Italian and we estimate it's fine. You'll then carefully very carefully mix everything together with a hand mixer. Consider using a slightly bigger bowl so that you don't make a huge mess like we almost did. Yeah, details, details. Then you're gonna cover the baking sheet in parchment paper. We also covered ours in tin foil just because the parchment didn't really reach to the edge. Then spread everything out to be about a quarter inch thick. Set the oven for 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Wait until it is fully preheated and then put the noodles in the oven. Wave bye bye to them and set the time for 25 minutes. Then we're going to make the meat sauce. Watch Jeremy satisfyingly chop this onion. So once you chop your onion, we're gonna saute about three cloves of garlic and the onions just until they're soft and translucent. In a separate pan, we browned up a half pound of ground turkey and a half pound of mild Italian sausage. And then, of course, we struggled to add them into the pan with the onions and the garlic. We grabbed some fresh basil from our garden and added that to the sauce.
You can take your leaves once you pull them off the stem and wrap them into a big bundle and use some kitchen scissors to chop it up. I also added the stems to boost the flavor, but we're gonna grab those out before adding the sauce so they don't get lost. You can't see it, but we also added salt and pepper and then added one and a half jars of this low sugar pasta sauce. Let simmer and set aside. So the next thing that we're going to make is the ricotta filling. You'll need a half teaspoon of Italian seasoning, 16 ounces part skim ricotta cheese, one cup shredded mozzarella cheese, one half teaspoon of garlic finely minced, one quarter cup Parmesan cheese grated. You just mix it all together. Even I can do that. We also added some salt and pepper. Set that aside and then your noodle sheet should be done baking by then. We took them out of the oven and waited about five minutes to let them cool. So now you're gonna to need to do some complex mathematical equations and cut your noodles to the size of your pan. We carefully peeled them up from the foil and parchment paper and it actually came off very easily. So now it's time to assemble. I start with a layer of sauce on the bottom of the pan, then a layer of noodle, a layer of ricotta, another layer of noodle, some more sauce and repeat until your pan has reached absolute max capacity. Don't forget the layer of cheese on top. The best part. We placed the pan on a baking sheet just in case there was any overflow in the oven. And then we bake it at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. We turned on the broiler for the last 30 seconds just to get nice and bubbly cheese on top. It looks pretty dang good if I do say so myself. So we let it sit for about 20 minutes after it came out of the oven and that helps us to cut it into some nice pieces. Look at those layers, good enough to post on Instagram. So we hope you guys really enjoyed this video. 
Make sure to send us photos on Instagram if you make this recipe at home. We'd really love to see your creations. And leave us a comment of what you think we should cook next. See y'all next, next week. week.